Hey, what's up, y'all? Feeds with the uh, back with the last part of the event. A couple updates and some stuff to go over uh, really quickly. First, kind of talk about uh, the closing story without any real spoilers. The inquest is actually really cool and uh, definitely worth doing. Um, this event was pretty fruitful, and I think if they do more events where they kind of fill out some of the storylines and introduce new characters and stuff like that, it's going to give you a lot of opportunity. Um, the second thing is it's really easy to farm... All the stuff you need with just with no refills uh, on the first day to get your a couple of your books and the crown of sage should pretty quickly, which is really cool. Uh, and then ultimately, it's gonna give you the opportunity to buy out all the rest of your skill guides and stuff like that as well, which is a definite must, especially these higher ones, these rare ones or these unique ones, um, because it just takes they equate to being basically three, three uh, nine green books. It gives you an opportunity to minimize some of your overall expense going down when you're leveling up characters and advancing them. So this was a huge event. Um, looking back on it, the pros that I, I definitely took from it was that they gave you a lot of availability and not having to farm traditionally while still getting an adventure rank. Um, they gave you a lot of opportunity to try out different characters by giving them power ups and boosts throughout the whole process, uh, as well as doing some other things involving characters you haven't necessarily used a whole bunch or involving some of the story and doing it in kind of a unique way where you get to take advantage of both zones um and then of course giving you different opportunities as well to get a character that you might have or might not have that's actually really strong to your character when you look at it um being able to get official is is really huge um and gives you a lot of chances to secure um a really strong a tier character for damage and all those things that come with it so uh, overall that was a huge pro being able to get the character being able to use your resources in a different way being able to contribute to it um the cons of it were very minimal in looking um but the ones that i saw most were one on the the second series the second set of uh, events that you did the meteorites a lot of times you'd be forced to wait for the mobs to come back into the center or you lose the ticks on your your progress which is really annoying um i wish that there was an alternate source that you could use instead of your resin because it did feel like you were obligated to not necessarily be able to farm some things that maybe you wanted to um as far as ascension goes but it does make up for it when you have the books that you get from the event so it's kind of a decent trade-off but still i wish there was a different resource that maybe would refill daily that you couldn't necessarily spend primo gems to farm or to get um and then last but not least uh i wish there had been kind of more to it but given that there was a lot in the amount of time that they did with these events, I still think it was a phenomenal job. Um, so overall, really cool when it comes to it. Um, the last thing is just remember, if you're trying to farm up uh, Mora and do some of the other things, make sure you do the Star of Destinies and the Meteoric Waves. Because um, they'll all give you Primo Gems in the process, as well as giving you Mora, as well as giving you Crystals for your progress as well. So it's a huge kind of pickup. Uh, and even if you just started today, you'd still be able to catch up on all those things to do it when it comes to that. So overall, super happy with this event. Um, gonna show you kind of one of the, the final event areas uh, and talk about it a little bit, kind of go over it. Um, the first thing is that you have different stuff during the Fallen Star Challenge. A certain character may receive a heroic starburst buff. During this time, the heroic starburst will intermittently increase the attack of this character and all nearby characters, which is really cool. Um, <clears throat> And then, of course, during the Fallen Star Challenge, a certain character may receive a, a, a Fukun Starbust buff. Um, during the time, the Fukun Starbust will give this character and all characters and f the Fukunity buff. Fukunity increases the efficiency of Celestial Energy Submission. So basically, you'll be able to complete it faster. Um, what you get is 200 AR ranking, um, 40 companion XP, and then, of course, 44 companion stars. This is at World 6. Um, and it costs 40 resin to do when it comes to and you can either do a co-op option or a single player option uh, So you can do it with friends and it'll be based on the, your world level when you're getting the rewards. So pretty cool deal um, Makes it super fun <clears throat> And there's a variety of different events and items that, that are different mobs. Excuse me that you'll fight throughout the process um, And one of them is predominantly Haley Churls uh, We'll see what this one is Maybe the Fatui or something like that. So it gives you a lot of opportunity to kind of see some different mobs that you might not have seen before if you're not consistently farming. And give you the different opportunity to kind of see all the different uh, creatures getting involved when it comes to it. So, um, pretty neat deal. 
super pumped with it. This event is really awesome. Kind of a good way to tie off the Thanksgiving era when it comes to it. And uh, gives you a lot of uh, extra opportunity to see what they have in store for the future. See kind of how they account for people who may be free to play and the things that they do for that. So, um, Mihoyo really uh, hit the mark of this event. And I think adding up the Stone Harbor event definitely gave you some extra credit and advantage to secure some different items. Um, in doing such when you come to it. So as you can see, as I kill the mobs, you're able to submit star energy, um, which gives me an attack boost. So if I do this in co-op, people will get the attack boost with me. And then, as you kill them more and more, you'll be able to get the stuff. Now one thing you want to make sure you don't do is that if you have mobs still up, don't try and put the star in and star essence in because that'll interrupt you and you'll lose some of your star essence. Now the benefit of this third event too is that there's not a really a balance that you have to worry about, so you can go and fight them and chase them as far as you want to, if you wanted to do that. And have no issues. And here we go. Mm, all that juicy star. Celestial energy going in there. Makes it really nice. The buffs vary, but makes it really convenient. Um, like I said, you'll fight a slew of different bosses. Now we're fighting. Now we're fighting the big Hilly Churl. The only thing I haven't seen is like the uncommon Hilly Churl. Oh. Too bad if you have a little bit of junk to it. Um, the event is time. So you can't necessarily do that fight forever, but you will have one of those when it comes to it. I don't know if there's a delay in mob spawns because something wasn't killed fast enough or how that works. So that's one thing I haven't figured out yet, but they do always spawn. At least that's what I've encountered. I've done almost a full, full set of resins worth. Full set of resins worth. Gotta 
when he dodges here. He breaks there. Thank you, sir. Damn. There we go. Okay, and then you'll claim your rewards. 40 resin. The stars. And then the adventure ring XP. So, if you guys liked the video, um, go ahead and like, hit the thumbs up button below. If you liked enough to follow, go ahead and the subscribe button up top. Until then, guys, appreciate you for stopping by, and uh, until next time, happy farming.